What's going on guys, it's Asal, and today we're going to be talking about the Battlefield Hardline beta, which was officially announced to be happening on February the 3rd. Now, it was supposedly leaked in a Q email that the game was going into beta on February 3rd, and that has been confirmed. Now, it runs from the 3rd to the 8th, and it's going to be available on all consoles, that being the Xbox 360, the One, the PS3, the PS4, and of course on the PC. Now, it's worthwhile to note that if you are on the PC, you can preload the game as of February 2nd at 10 a.m. PST. Now, this is actually the second beta that Battlefield Hardline has had. We had the first one way back in June, but the game was delayed up until now, and that is because, in my opinion, they knew the game really it sucked, to be honest. I really didn't like the beta. It felt like a reskin to Battlefield 4. So they've given themselves an extra six months or so to really fine tune the game. And I'm really hoping that they, do, that they did a good job of that because I was pretty upset with the initial beta because it really wasn't very fun at all. Now we do know a few things of what will be in the Battlefield Hardline beta. We're gonna have three game modes and three maps. Now, the first game mode that I'm going to talk about is just Conquest. If you've ever played Battlefield before, you know what Conquest is. This is a staple game mode, and this is going to be available on the map Dust Bowl. Now, Conquest is going to be 64 players in the beta, up to 64 players. I say that because the other game modes have different player limits. I'm not sure if these player limits will be applied into the final release of the game, but this is what we have for the beta. Now, the next game mode is Heist. Now, Heist was actually the game mode that was available in the first beta. Essentially, you have the cops and the robbers, and you basically need to go and steal money from the other, from the enemy team's vault, and bring it back to your vault. Whoever can bring the most money back wins. It's essentially like that. I'm not sure the technicalities of it, but that's the gist of it. And now, that is going to be available on the map Bank Job. Now, the next game mode, this is something new. We haven't actually seen this, uh, played this one before, rather. Now, this is the Hotwire game mode. Now, Hotwire, um, probably the best description I can give is, is it's basically Conquest, except the capture points are cars. <laughs> so, essentially, you have all these vehicles around the map that you need to get in and drive them around. You don't have to drive them, but it makes sense to drive them so that people can't catch you. Now, the Heist and Hotwire in the beta are both going to be... 32 players. Now, the thing about Hotwire is it's it's unique. It's not really something that we've seen before. You'll have a lot of vehicles going pretty fast, and it sounds fairly chaotic. It doesn't seem like there's going to be a whole lot of strategy to it. Well, I'm sure you could always apply strategy to any game mode, but it sounds like one of those game modes where it's just going to be really fun to jump in with a bunch of friends and just have a really great night. And Now, Hotwire is going to be available on the downtown map as well as the Dust Bowl map. Now, something else that we have learned about in Battlefield Hardline is the hacker mode. Now, hacker mode, essentially, what it seems like is it looks like the commander mode from Battlefield 4, and they say you can, you know, tell your team where to go, you can hack security cameras and spot enemy players. Uh, we don't really know a whole lot about it, but from that brief little description that they gave, it sounds like it'll be a little less lethal than in Battlefield 4. I'm, I'm guessing we're not going to have things like cru cruise missiles that can come in and that kind of thing. I didn't really like that anyways. It was really not fun to get hit by a cruise missile when you're playing the game, so I'm hoping that they take that kind of thing out and make it just kind of more of a tactical addition rather than something that can wipe out the enemy team in full. Now, we also know that we will have the entire progression system in the final launch of the game available in the beta, and so that means that we will be, theoretically, we will be able to rank up to rank 150 in the beta. Now, I don't think that will be possible, but it's nice that we know we don't have like a cap, so we'll be able to experience the leveling system, and we'll be able to know what to expect in the final launch of the game. Now, I'm going to say this again, I really hope that the fact that they have delayed this game has helped. It's really interesting that they are putting this emphasis on the story mode as well, because traditionally, Battlefield games, they're, they have stories, but you never really hear people talk about the stories, they never advertise the stories, because they're not very good, they're just kind of there because I almost feel like they throw the story into the game just because they feel the game has to have a story and people won't buy it without a story, but in reality, the stories were awful, and the only reason I played it was just to get a couple weapon unlocks, because a lot of 
a lot of the campaign was pretty dry, but they've been putting a lot of um, emphasis on the campaign in Battlefield Hardline. They say it's going to be a little bit like a TV episode style like cop series, which sounds pretty cool because like previous Battlefield campaigns have been just so boring and just the biggest grind and they really have like zero replayability and they're just not the funnest games uh, to play. And they've also said that we will have some extra side missions as well in the campaigns. So it's nice to see that we will have that um, implemented into the final game rather than just having just an afterthought campaign thrown in there which is not really fun for anybody so i hope this delay has helped i really the biggest thing that i'm hoping for in the battlefield hardline is stability i do not want more crashes i don't want any more of that i'm gonna i'm not actually gonna pre-order the game i think i'm gonna wait a couple days after it gets released to see if the game is stable because i've just I felt so cheated when I bought Battlefield 4 and I couldn't even play it, it was really upsetting. But that's pretty much the gist of what we know for the Battlefield Hardline beta. I know I, I am definitely going to jump in and play it, and I'm pretty excited and I'm really hoping that it is a fun game because I don't want it to be just reskinned Battlefield 4 and I hope that the delay really has improved things. So guys, that's all I have to say for you. If you have enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button, I always appreciate that. And with that, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.